Already two weeks into the Trump presidency, tensions are rising with Iran. But the big question is still looming out there, which is what's the future of that U.S.-Iranian nuclear agreement that President Obama negotiated and that candidate Donald Trump really didn't like? Let's step back from that just a bit and look at the current situation. The Iranians over the weekend fired off a ballistic missile, which looks to be a potential or maybe even a likely violation of United Nations Security Council resolutions that are supposed to keep both the Iranian nuclear program and its ballistic missile program in check. That produced a warning from the Trump White House this week that the Iranians are on notice that the U.S. is watching this behavior carefully. There's also been some tension in the Persian Gulf, a confrontation between Saudi forces and Iranian forces there as well, and a dismissal by the Iranian leadership of the warnings from the White House. And so you have a ratcheting up of tensions. In the background of that, though, is a conversation that President Trump had with Saudi King Salman a few days earlier, in which he didn't say he was going to ditch that nuclear deal with the Iranians, but instead the White House said the president and the Saudi king had agreed to vigorously enforce that agreement, meaning to watch carefully for any violations and try to pounce on them. But that's not the same as getting rid of the Iranian nuclear deal. So I think what we know now is that tensions are rising between the U.S. and the Iranian government. I think that's likely to continue. But we don't know the answer to the key question in this relationship, which is whether that nuclear deal is going to live or is going to die under the Trump administration.